Hey, YouTube. I wanted to start a little conversation today about being disabled. I know there's a lot of questions that people have, and there's a lot of people out there that are newly disabled that don't understand. I've been on both sides of the problem. When I was in my late 20s, and in, when I turned 30, that's when I became in a wheelchair. And I've got an L3, L4, which is the lower part of your back, spinal cord injury due to a gunshot wound. If you want to know more about that, fine, just let me know. But right now, I just want to, you know, give you guys my views on being in a wheelchair. That way, you can ask questions and I can answer them as best as I know. But here it is. When I was first in my wheelchair, I was lost. I didn't know what to do. I was in so much pain. But the nurses and the uh, trainers and everybody that worked with me did a great job. And, you know, I'm 54 years old and I think, I think I'm doing okay. But the things that I have found that are really hard for people to understand is being able to be accessible to all which means they think they have a ramp up there, it's great. What they don't know is, is if it's at a grade like that, somebody like us can't get in there. You know, 45 degrees, maybe a little lower. And a lot of times they say, oh, it's only a little step like that. But if you're in a motorized wheelchair, that much is going to kill you. You can't get through it. Just can't. I'm a big lady. My husband's a little guy and, and you know, I can't, I can't get indoors. That's the most frustrating part. Especially when like your loved ones or somebody like that are having an event and you really want to be there like a baby shower and you can't. And that's kind of frustrating for me. Um, a lot of things like that happen to me a lot. Um, bathrooms. That's another thing that's hard. People don't make the doors wide enough. If And I realize I'm wide load, but you still need to get me in there. And if you have to use the facilities and can't, you're in trouble. Um, when I first was in a wheelchair, I was in a manual wheelchair. My hands took a lot of abuse. Uh, a lot of people, you see them wearing gloves. The tires that are on their wheels, you know, what you do is, is you push yourself off, right? Well, they'll eat into your hands after a while, and the plastic takes the oils out of your hands. So you're always dry hands. Um, spinal cord injuries, a lot of people just don't understand them. They don't know what they're doing. They think they're helping, and they end up, they could hurt you. You know, so there's a lot of things that go with it. And what I was thinking was, if you wanted me to, I could start answering some questions. Plus, I'll start showing you some things that I do from a wheelchair perspective that maybe you didn't know about. Or maybe I didn't know you knew about. Like, for instance, today I'm making tamales. Do you want to learn, learn how to make tamales? Let me know. I'll teach you. If you want to learn how to make an awesome coconut cake, I'll teach you. Things like that are things that my channel were about. But as I've went along over the years, I've learned that we also need to educate. Especially if you're newly in a wheelchair. It's hard. It's going to be hard. I'm sorry. I wish there was more that could be done right now. But there are a lot of good organizations out there that will help. If you have questions about that, Give me a holler. If I don't know, I'll find out for you. But, um, yeah. Let's go through this journey together. You know, I've went through the middle part of my life in a wheelchair. And, of course, it's not going to change now that I'm older. And let's go ahead and go through this journey together. I think it'll be fun. And if you have any questions, let me know. Because I have done it all. My husband and I are both bikers, and he has taken me on a Harley-Davidson on two wheels all across the country. We put my manual wheelchair in a trailer, and we it gets in the back of the bike, and we just drive along like that. And when we get to where we're going, we um, take the manual wheelchair out, and that's how we do it. 
but I've been from the east to west coast, north north to south, and uh, it's been fun. It's been a wonderful journey, and we've got some wonderful pictures. Uh, Yellowstone National Park was great. They've got a lot of good accessibility there, too. Um, like I said, just give me a holler. Let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I'm getting ready to go finish the tamales. So I'll see you all later. And this is Macy. I'm signing off. Have a good day.